I think it's. <laughs> I think it's better like this. Yeah. I, 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 normally we use a kickstand. Normally, yeah, but this one feels right, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We should, if we want to keep doing this though, we should probably put the case sliders on so that we can do this safely. Yeah, what do you that, think? that would be a good yeah, idea. Let's, let's do that, yeah. Alrighty guys, so no one ever wants to find their bike looking like this, but honestly, it's really common. It happens all the time. Bikes get laid over on their side and I think you need to be prepared for it, right Spike? Absolutely, I mean, I even dropped my SMCR in a parking lot, so. Did Nobody really? I didn't is, know that. Yeah, no one is immune from dropping their motorcycle. Nope. Not even people who ostensibly are supposed to know what they're doing. Yeah. So you really just not need to get something to put on your motorcycle to keep it safe in a parking lot tip over. Mm -hmm. And so today we're gonna to be installing a full suite of T-Rex crash protection on this motorcycle. We've got case sliders, frame sliders, axle sliders, and even a radiator guard to keep everything nice and protected. And just because it's the end of the year and we're feeling good, we're gonna install it just like this. The bike is very carefully laid over on its side right now. Nothing got crushed, I think, but it should be good and we're, we're just gonna get into it and see how it goes. Now look, I know it may appear that we don't like this motorcycle because we keep laying it over and talking mad sh** about it, but we actually do enjoy this thing a whole lot. This is one of our beginner bike giveaway bikes. If you go to the link down below on yamineub.co, you can find out how to get entered to win this machine, our Z650, our Street Scrambler, Ducati V2, we've got all kinds of cool bikes, our Indian Scout. Go to the link down below and find out how you can get entered to win. Now obviously guys, we're not gonna be working on this motorcycle when it's tipped over like that. So let's get it up on the lift and let's get started. All right guys, so we have a full suite of T-Rex protection stuff here, starting with no cut frame sliders, which are a great boon for any fully fared motorcycle. We have a radiator guard here, which is nice. It's gonna keep rocks and stuff from going into your radiator as you ride, which I actually have had somebody blow out a radiator on a ride, no fun. We have spools that we're gonna put on the bike. And finally, most importantly, we have case protectors, which is going to keep a rock from going through your case. Also no fun. So let's get all this stuff on the motorcycle. All right guys, the first thing we're installing on this bike is just a nice little set of case covers right here. So this is gonna sit right over the case over here. And this is to prevent any holes being punctured in the side of your case. If you go down on the side of your bike, this is one of the first points of contact beyond your lever and your pegs here. And if you get a hole in here, your engine oil is gonna drain out, then you're gonna have to call a tow truck. But if you have case sliders on here, if your bike does flip over or go down or something like that, you're probably not gonna put a hole in it. You can probably ride back home pretty safely. So let's put these on. Now guys, when you're installing your case covers over here, uh, normally I've seen online people get uh, worried that by taking out these bolts on the side of the engine here, you're gonna have engine oil spill out. And while that happens sometimes on models like KTMs and stuff like that, on most Japanese bikes that I've worked on, you can typically pop off a couple of these bolts here and no engine oil is gonna spill out. So as you can see here, I've popped off the four bolts that we need and I'm gonna slide this on. No oil is seeping out of this bike, so we're in good shape. So guys, if you thought this was the part where Spike complains about working on a fully fared motorcycle, you are correct. Uh, you have to take off so much plastic when you're working on a fully fared bike. And if you anticipate doing a lot of maintenance yourself, it might be worth it to just get a naked bike. But you know, a lot of people are really attracted to the look of a motorcycle all wrapped in plastic. And I get it, but prepare yourself for a lot of extra work. Alrighty guys, if you're putting this on as a beginner and you don't have a lot of experience wrenching on these bikes, it can be really easy to get too overzealous with these screws going into your engine here. You think, well, it's holding fluids, it's gotta be real tight. These are steel screws going into an aluminum engine case. You'll rip the threads out really, really easy. So don't go ham on these bolts. Get them to torque if you can find it or just get, you know, kind of feel your way through it. On these T-Rex ones here, I always like to do a little bit more because the material itself actually squishes and acts like a thread locker. So I just take it in. When I feel it get tight, I give it just a smidgen of a turn more and then I'm done. No more than that. 
Alrighty guys, you've heard me say it before, but there is a big difference between a frame slider and an engine slider. If you're looking at getting protection for your beginner bike, stay away from engine sliders. What that does is it means that there's a little tab like this here in the engine, and you will bolt directly to that and not the frame. These are frame sliders, which means that when the bike goes down on its side, the weight goes from the puck to the frame and not from the puck to the engine. Even though we're bolting it into the engine, the frame will bear all of the weight if the bike goes down and you're not gonna crack anything. Alrighty guys, just in case you thought I was talking out of my butt, this kit actually does include a cross spar that goes between these two frame sliders. And even though we are bolting into the engine to secure it, this thing is gonna go between. And if there is any force going in the engine, it's actually gonna hit this spar and stay in the frame. It's not gonna allow the engine to crush inwards if there's any weight. So one last tip to round out this little garage section here. If you're going to seat a bolt into your motorcycle, don't seat it with a wrench. What you wanna do is you wanna actually just get it started by hand before you actually start putting torque on it because you'll be able to feel if you've cross-threaded it. And if you cross-thread something in your frame, you're screwed. So you really wanna just take that extra second and make sure that if you feel it cross-threading, back it out, reset it, and try again before you go just like full send on a wrench and cross thread something to a million years. So that, then, then this is just bad. You're gonna have to go to a hardware store, get a tap and die, get new screws. It's a giant pain in the butt. Trust me on this one, I've done it before. Just seat it by hand. Guys, we finished up installing the protection parts on our CBR500R and now we're going to put it on its side and see those points of contact despite it's going to hurt a little bit but I think we need to do this for science. No, totally. Yeah, no, it's not even going to hurt at all because we have these giant pucks on the side. Yeah, so let's ready set to her down. Kick this thing over. I, I wish I could. <laughs> no, I'm just going to set it down gingerly. Yep. All right, guys, as you can see, now when this bike is on its side, the frame slider is going to be the first thing that's going to touch the ground. Obviously, your handlebar over here is going to touch as well. But we're protecting the gear shifter over there, and the spool is protecting the swing arm. So those are going to be the three main points of contact. And if those fail, we still have an engine case cover on our engine over there, so engine oil won't get out. Alrighty guys, we hope you've enjoyed this look into installing the case sliders and engine protection on this bike. Remember, we're giving it away over on yamianoob.co. So hit the link down below and learn how you can get signed up to win this motorcycle. We'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, you're still here. I can't believe you made it to the end of the video. Not many people do. Just for you, I have a little treat. Hit this link over here. Check out the next video on the Yamianoob catalog. What's gonna happen in it? I don't really know. Maybe there's a boost in it. Maybe there's some cool wheelies. Maybe there's some fun memes. Probably. Who can say?